morning. It is Monday morning and Jennifer has a stinking cold and a bit of a cough. She didn't want to go nursery today, so I'm not working. I'm having a day off. I've, I've explained to work that she's not well, um, which is fine. She, she comes first and she's all right at the moment. She's watching uh, Mickey Mouse Nursery Rhymes. Um, we've been watching Peter Rabbit. We were up part of the night for a good couple of hours because she couldn't stop coughing. It is just the cold. There's nothing more sinister to it. She's just had a stinking cold and a runny nose. Um, she hasn't got temperature or anything like that, she's fine. Um, she's just feeling a bit clingy today, so um, who knows what's going to happen. Um, Phil's supposed to be coming to the light in the shed later, so I'll show you that if it's done. Um, basically, I'm going to be looking after Jennifer for most of the day, so I can't say there's going to be much happening. And I'm tired from getting up. We went to bed early last night, as you know, and um, I was asleep for about three hours, woke up. Uh, when she started, of course, it's a broken night's sleep for me, and that kills me more than if I go to bed late and yeah. sleep through. It's nursery rhymes. Yeah. yeah. So, she's not feeling 100%, so I'm trying to keep her warm and give her lots of fluids. But, uh, yeah, you come and sit on Mummy's knee. Who's that? That's Mummy. There's oh. Baby. You right. You're not feeling very well, are you? You've got cold, haven't you? Yeah. You don't feel well, do you? You want to stay with mummy, don't you? Anyway, I'll see you later. So it's Monday night. I haven't done anything today. Because obviously, well, I have. Obviously I've been looking after Jennifer, but uh, poor kid. Uh, she's all right. She's just very, very... <sighs> clingy, because, you know. So she's. we just put her to bed. You know, she's all tired. She did try and out wash up, didn't she, Paul? Mm. And now we're having a nice glass of uh, Columbard Chardonnay. And I'm drinking it in my Marilyn glass, which was a gift from my friend Anne Howard. And I haven't used it for a while, but I thought I'd use it. Because why not? I'm also uploading last week's very boring vlog. Because <laughs> nothing happened. As nothing will happen this week. However, nothing's happened today. We are definitely going into lockdown from Friday, which means we won't be going out to Sunday lunch on Sunday. Which is very annoying. They haven't messaged us yet or posted anything on their page, but uh, I should just tell the Jason to book us in from the first Sunday that he can start taking bookings again, innit, Paul? And we'll go then instead. Um, it's a bit annoying because some of us are trying to do our best to stick to the rules and we don't go anywhere we don't have to. Um, but it is what it is. So we will still be able to go see Paul's mum because she lives on her own and she's elderly. So... You can still do that, still visit the, the el uh, people living on their own. So that's at least something. Um, it's good for her because it's not nice being on your own when all this is going on. But uh, that's going to be a bit I, it for tonight. I might do some filming later after I've drunk my wine and gone up to upstairs. But uh, yeah, I, I think I'm sitting on... So, so, I'm sitting on... A meerkat. He gets everywhere, this fella. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys. Good morning everybody. As you can see I'm at work. I've just been um, off because I've had to phone the help desk about something but that's alright, it's all sorted. It is actually Tuesday and it is the 20th of October. We are ploughing through. I have got I think five whips of stuff up here to do. Well, one of them I'm not pressuring myself on and that's the one in Serene. That's going to take me as long as I need to do it. I'm not trying to finish that this week this month but there are a few I want to complete this month and there's a few more I want to try and get done this month so I can start some serious colour. I'll be colouring tonight because there's football on and Paul will be watching it so I'll be filming a video and colouring to keep and sitting there colouring and listening to an audio book. Jennifer's better she's gone to nursery today she couldn't wait to get out the door so it just goes to show. Um, so yeah I'm wondering what to do for two weeks of vlogging uh, with this lockdown. I mean I don't do a lot anyway and I could carry on vlogging and you can see what life in lockdown is like for me because it's not much a lot different from normal days apart from I won't be able to go and uh, visit my mum and dad's garden or we can still go to the park we just won't be able to go to the pub because the pubs will all be closed but anyway I am going to go and get on with my job so I've only got two hours left to go that's cool. I'm uh, gonna crack on, do some emails, and I'll see you later. So I've just picked up Jennifer from nursery. Say hello, Jennifer. Hello. Good girl. She's covered in paint. They've been painting pumpkins, and they've been playing in the garden. So they've had to change a jumper in the top, which is fine. That's the whole point. They go out, and they're always oh, all dark in here, isn't it? Hang on. 
bet I can make it a bit better in a minute, hang on. They've been playing out in the garden today. Jennifer's uh, got, still got a bit of a cough and a cold and uh, she wanted me this morning, but she's fine. So I dropped him off at my mum's. I won't be able to go down after Friday. Um, Phil is currently sorting out my light, which is great. So hopefully I'll be able to show you that later. Anyway, I need a cup of tea. So I'm all heading off to my mum's to sort her out and uh, make sure everything's right. You all right there, babe? Good girl. Right, let's go. So Phil couldn't fix it to the old light and he couldn't find the old switch. Uh, so he's had to put a new cable in. So. He's not finished yet because he's got to get a light switch, he's going to put it back by the door. But here's the, the cable. At the moment it's just going across the wall. So oop, the light's not actually um, on yet, but he is working on it. He'll be back on Thursday to finish it off, I hope. Um, oh, I'll put a trike back in. I don't want it left out in case it rains. I'm just going to... Uh pick some order. So I've sold this skirt, uh, she's saying putting it in a poly bag. I'm going to take them down because it's going to rain and do it down, down in the house because it's getting dark. And I've also sold, let me just get in here and I wait for the light to adjust. It's quite good this, this Cindy car, I mean it's not in brilliant condition. Um, the steering wheel's broken off but it is in there and I'm going to actually tape it in, in the back there. So I just got to find a box for that. Um, so I'm just going to do that. Then I'm going down into the house because it's cold out oh here. So yeah, my light's in that box. I'm very excited for it. It's just going to make it easier for me to come up here at night and, and do stuff in the, in the winter. So as you can see, the Cindy stuff, I only have um, the sofa, the bath, the hairdryer and the wash basin. I think that's it. Is there one behind the wash basin? One, two, three, four, up four items. I think there were 22 items or something. So they've all gone really quickly. I'm really pleased with that. So I do need to get listing. I'm being very lazy with the listing, but I got, I could have had yesterday's paid leave, but um, how many is unpaid special leave? Um, Cause I've got Friday booked off and I really want to do some eBay. So I need to, get up here and get all this sorted out sorry but what was the name of this game company screen life games okay that's fine um so that box there has got jennifer's some of her christmas stuff in it like for her presents some of her presents and her stocking i have got stuff to list i'm just not doing it and i must crack on otherwise it's all going to fall off and annoy me and i'll have to come pull it and put it away again but uh yeah i just gotta find a little box for this now it's not going to take a huge box so i'll see what i've got Eek. Hi everyone, it's fr it's Wednesday morning. Um, yeah, I'm working. I'm just waiting for a call. I'm doing emails. I, the flash just went off in my eyes. I was, wasn't expecting it. So yeah, Jennifer's at nursery. She's fine, just cracking on. Um, yeah, so don't know what I'm going to do this afternoon. Well, Posted my parcels, which is good. And, and so, you know, it's like yeah. the perfect age. It's going to be quiet today. Um, Phil's not coming till tomorrow to do the light, which is fine. Course, so, so I don't know, I might just sit, um, do some colouring because Jennifer will probably want to sleep after we've had some um, cuddles and lunch. Enough, and I have my lunch and she know, just sits here and annoys me. Own. Tries to eat my lunch, which is you fine. And if that's the case, she can, she'll have a sleep in the afternoon and that's, that's fine. Um, I've got a phone yeah. call, I won't be a sec. It's so dark, it's great. Finish work, Jennifer's downstairs having a sleep. And Paul's still working, so I've come upstairs, I'm going to read a bit of my book. Do a bit of colouring. Uh, don't really chill out. If she was awake, I'd stay downstairs and play with her, but she's going to sleep. I think really wear her out, that nursery. Um, I've got a picture I want to finish, so I'm going to try and finish that off. I'm going to read one of my Jack books, because I still haven't finished... Uh, 21st century investigation. I want to finish that so I can, uh, a crooked tooth really shows off in this light, so I can uh, crack on with time with Norma Jean and the last interview and other conversations. So I'm going to read, a, read for a little bit. Um, it's not a lot happening. Like I said, I'm going to pop to Aldi tomorrow. Get some uh, pre mashed potatoes. No, it's lazy, but if we buy proper spuds, we just end up wasting them. And Paul's not keen on mashed potato, but me and Jennifer love it, and we got a pie. So we'll have pie tomorrow. Paul can have pie and chips, and me and Jennifer will have pie and mash and peas, carrots, and gravy, and he'll have chips, peas, carrots, and gravy. It's just easier to do it like that. So, 
can get some of that. We'll see what else she got. Because we got some good toys over there. Maybe for um, Jennifer and stuff. So um, I'm going to have a, a little little mooch around old Aldi tomorrow after I've picked Jennifer up and take the car down and see if there's anything worth picking up. Anyway, I'll see you later. I got no eBay parcels going out because I've got to be honest, I've been so lazy, I haven't listed anything. So Friday's my day for getting back on that. I'm just going to chill tonight. I'm just exhausted. It's the weather changing and the whole frustration of another lockdown impending. And of course, no light in the shed and it's dark all the time, so I'm not really pushing it. Once I've got my light, hopefully tomorrow, which I will show you, I will uh, push it a bit more because it's so hard to pack stuff in at this time of year. But yeah, I want to get some cameras listing because it's a good time to get them up. A few vintage board games, just need to check I've got all the bits. So I might start doing that. This, I might do that Friday actually. But for now, that's it. I will see you later. I will be filming tonight a colouring chat and a few other bits and pieces. So I'll see you then. Bye. Hey everyone, it's Wednesday night. Jennifer's in bed, but she's not asleep. She's chattering. It's gone. It's nearly 10 o'clock. I've just had a shower, as you can tell. And I'm going to do some filming. I'm going to film a colouring chat. And I'm going to belch in a bit because I've had a cow cider. I'm going to film a flip through and I'm going to do some swatching. Um, tomorrow, uh, my dad wants me to help him shot with the shopping, so I'll be going to Aldi's. I've never been so excited in my life. I've been to Aldi's for ages because I was going to Lidl. Lidl's at my end of town, you see, so we <laughs> must go there. But yeah, so dad wants to go to Aldi's, so I sort of go and help him. So, because he'll walk, because he's only up the road, just help him carry his stuff back. Um, that means I've got to make sure I've got Jennifer's reins with me because she'll have to, to come with us. Um, but yeah, so today I've been trying to finish up doing some of the, the little whips I've got. So I always have a pattern book on the go. So uh, in the mornings when I'm waiting to start work, I haven't got space to do proper colouring when I'm waiting to start work. Um, just while I'm waiting, I've, I have a little pattern book and I go and I finished off a couple of those today. Um, I finished, finished them after work, to be honest, and I've almost finished another one. I want to try and finish tonight. So that's great. I'm going to carry on with my Deborah Muller colouring chat I'm going to do a flip through of April Amber's new Halloween colouring book I didn't even know it was out so I'm really pleased I've got that and then I might just watch a bit more of the castle art so when you do watch the castle arts video you might notice that it's not filmed all on the same day it's just when I get time to film it in because um, I've got so much else to do um, which is why these take a long time to film so I've got a few items in my cart I want to start I want to get next month um, <laughs> there's a few books but they're Christmas ones so they're in a few Jade Summer Christmas ones and a few other Christmas ones I found um, I might not order them straight away I might just put them in the um, saved for later file I'm so tired um, hopefully Phil's going to finish my light tomorrow which will be great um, like I said Friday off so I'll be doing the rest of the swatching Friday so if I don't do it tonight I'll just do it Friday morning um, for the Arteza and start on that picture um, I'm literally going to do a bit of eBay on Friday as you know uh, but yeah I've, um, I'm going to try and also want to try and finish reading a bit more of the Jack the Ripper book I'm now on Mary Jane Kelly the most horrific of the victims because I really want to start um, a fictional book, Time with Norma Jean. And I also want to read the last interview and other conversations, Marilyn, but it's only a little small one. It won't take me long to get through it. Because I've got this huge tome that I've been trying to read since I got it years ago. And I still haven't finished it. It's been sitting on the bedside table in the other room. It's Agatha Christie's Complete Secret Notebook Stories and Secrets of Murder in the Making. Fully revised and updated edition by John Curran. So it's all the notebooks of um, Agatha Christie that are still in existence. So it's absolutely fascinating. Um, hard to read because none of it's in order because she never ordered her notebooks. Mind you, I must admit, I'm just the same. Other than my diary when I, I write it and that's not every day. I do try and then I get distracted by other things. <laughs> So I want to carry on reading this. So I must get on with that. I want to read The Princes in the Tower because, as you can see up there, on top of the bookcases, the are Marilyn bookcases, but on top of the bookcases here, and there's a three books on there which are Marilyn fictional ones. These are all books I haven't read and they are like double stacked. Only this pile on the end, which as you can see at the top, has got the films of Clark Gable on it. Um, is non-fiction and that Cary Grant that's stuck up on there. Everything else is fiction 
um, and non-fiction. Now I love non-fiction probably more than I love my fiction at the moment but I've got more fiction. It takes me a long time to read them and I used to be able to read maybe three books a week now I'm down to three a month. Although last week I did manage to read three on my phone, Kindle ones, that I picked up, which were really good and I really enjoyed them. So, some books take longer than others. This Jack the Ripper one is so horrific in detail, I don't want to read it all in one go, it's just too much. Of course, I have got, oh, it came this week, my copy of, and I'll just zoom out because. I'm too far in and you can see my huge double chin. Pictures of the Abyss by Andrew Firth, which is signed. I you can see that. Um, let me light down and I'll show you. It'll be easier, won't it? So it is a signed copy. And it's number 16 of 75 first editions that are signed. And there's the Andrew Firth signature which is there. Jack London's obviously a fastener. Um, but yeah, just so you can see what this looks like. It's all photographs of the East End with Jack London's old photographs interspersed with or superimposed over the top of the new ones as you can see there and and there look. So it's, it's absolutely fascinating to see the difference. Um, I haven't started it yet because like I said I'm still trying to finish the other Jack the Ripper. Also it's not on Goodreads yet so um, I can't add it to my re red books. Well, I could if I put it on myself, but I can't be bothered with that nonsense. Anyway, that's it for tonight. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm going to crack on with my colouring chats. Morning, it is Thursday. I'm uh, getting ready to start in a few minutes. I'm actually watching a walkthrough of a Lego Jurassic World. I love watching these. I love playing these as well, Lego games. Uh, one of our systems is down, which is going to make life fun, which means we can't work on emails and it's going to be hard identifying uh, staff members. Um, hopefully it won't be down for long. Uh, we just have to wait and see what happens. Um, it's very difficult when this happens. Um, Hopefully uh, one of the managers will be in soon and they'll be able to report it to IT. If it hasn't been already, it probably has. Um, yeah, supplies go to our Aldi later and have a look to see what they've got. I've heard there are supplies. But I, I need a few bits and pieces so that'll be fine. Phil hopefully will be coming to do the light so hopefully I'll be able to show you that later. I haven't had any sales but I haven't done anything. I'm off tomorrow. I'm just remembered I've got to do my tax return. I haven't done it yet. I've got till the 31st of January to get it in. I'm going to try and do it tomorrow and just get it submitted. It's quite easy. It's just transferring figures from one page to another and just sending it through. It's not complicated at all. It's money in versus money out. Basically. That's it. Uh, submit it and then they tell me if I need to pay them anything and if I do I do it's that simple uh, I'm gonna get going because I gotta get started I will see you afterwards and let you know how I get on at Aldi's Jennifer's asleep um, I'm just gonna show you the light and there it is I have a light this is exciting though there's Jennifer's trike it's the first time I've been here there's boxes everywhere and you sort out now those boxes are quite handy looking decent sized boxes here that he's left me behind so I'll probably come up here and have a bit of a, a tidy up. I've got to sort all this jewellery out and get rid of it. And I want to hit that box. And obviously there's the clothing there. And uh, so the cable comes in there, across there. And there is my light. That means now that I can come up in the dark, put stuff away get orders out. I haven't had any orders for a couple of days because so I just haven't been working on eBay so now I've got no excuse. I've got the day off tomorrow from work so I'll drop Jennifer at nursery in the morning. I've got to do my tax return. I've mentioned this before and then once I've done that I will uh, do some filming and get some listings ready. I might be able to get a couple of listings ready today actually and put some live tonight. Really, have it. here's my mannequin. She's up here at the moment because she doesn't have a space at the moment in the house to have her, so I'm using a half mannequin instead. We'll get back to using her at some point. Oh, it's so exciting to actually have a, a nice light, and that comes off, and I can put the bulb in. Oh, it's amazing. I've just got to remember that when I go back down, I've got to switch it off. But every time we switch on the light outside, this light comes on. Uh, the outside light comes on, this one comes on. Oh, it's such a relief. I don't know how much it's cost yet. Probably a bloody fortune, but I needed it because I can't work 
you know, it's, it's, it's six o'clock at the moment. I mean, I haven't done anything much. I've been upstairs doing stuff. And this is how dark it is. It's dusk. But uh, this weekend the clocks go back. So it's going to be getting dark very early from next week on. So it's very hard for me to do stuff like that. I have got something that goes in that box. That's a little box of Jennifer's toys. So finally, now I've, and that will be at the back, the bed, Jennifer's bed, when, when she goes into it. And hopefully that'll be the end of this year, I think. She's uh, certainly almost ready for it. So I'm going to go and cook our tea now. I'm, I'm so excited. Um, I can come up, get, get the room tidied and sorted out. I can come up here and I can sort out those board games finally. Um, I'll put on a, a put on a jumper, just come and sit in here. It's amazing. This is awesome. I mean, there's a few things I've, I mean, I've really got to tidy up. Big time, got to tidy up. So, uh, if I crack on with that, I suppose, really. But, but I will. So, yeah. Now, I've got a light, I've got no excuse not to be working into the evening sometimes. Or very early in the morning, because it'll be dark in the morning as well. He also fixed the, uh, this was come, this had come loose. And these handles had come loose and he's, he's put them back on, bless him. I asked him today, he said, yeah, it's no problem. It's great, I love it. It's a very nice light as well, and, and it's just going to be so much easier than faffing around with a torch and trying to balance it and put it in a way where I can actually do stuff with it. So, yeah, that's it. I'm going to go and keep an eye on Jen because she, I said she's asleep. Um, I'll show you the pens I got as well from um, Aldi. Yep, so I picked up these two packs of pens that they've got in um, Aldi at the moment. I don't know what they're like. I haven't used them. Um, so crafty. Pastel highlighters, chisel tip permanent highlighter pens. So there's, what, one, two, three... Four, five, six colours in there, and the bright highlighters they call them. So they're kind of neons, but the purples and blues won't be in greens. Again, four colours: bright pink, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. I haven't tried them yet. I can try them this evening in um, Fifty Eve Pattern by Jade Summer because that's uh, arrived today. Um, so I'm going to do that. So Jennifer's asleep. I'm going to wake her up a bit for her dinner. Um, she's passed out. Bless her. And we'll see Paul's having a rest now. And I'll, I'll see you a bit later. So, yeah, very excited. Hi everyone, it's about nine o'clock. Um, Jenna's in bed. She's not asleep yet, but she's chatting away at the moment. She was crying, but she's all right now. And I've come up to bed because I'm not feeling very well. I feel a bit sick. Um, ate too much? Don't know. Something did disagreed. I'm going to sit and watch some YouTube. And I have got... Um, I'm going to carry on doing the background in the Deborah Muller book because it's just so big. I'm not going to do that on camera. I'll be there forever doing it. So I've got tomorrow off. I'll be getting up pretty much at the normal time, maybe about 10 minutes later, but extra 10 minutes in bed, taking Jennifer to nursery. And then I'll be doing um, as much as I can, but without breaking a sweat. So we'll be doing a bit of eBay, the taxes, if I can get into my tax account. If not, I'll ring them. And some, yeah, some eBay, some filming, all sorts of bits and pieces and some chilling, some watching YouTube while I'm, you know, listing and drafting. I can watch YouTube. So, yeah. So I'm going, oh, so tired. I'm going to do that background, try and get as much of that done as I can. And then I might colour a little bit in... Um, the Jade Summer book that's coming to I've started a pattern in there with the pens I got from Aldi. I'm going to do one with the brights and one with the pastels just to see what they're like. I said to my mum, asked Dad to, to get your packet if he goes over there tomorrow of each one. Uh, but if he doesn't, I'll just give her one of each colour out of my two sets because there's four of each, so... They'll last for ages. I'll probably stick them in the same pot as my Sharpies, even though they're not Sharpies. They're still nice pens. Um, I quite like them. So anyway, that is it for Thursday. So tomorrow we'll be doing sort of all sorts of bits and pieces. Um, there might even be a bit of shed work because I have got some stuff to take up the shed and uh, I do want to get some a load of drafts done and, and listed so I can crack on and get some. I haven't had any sales this week for a bit because I haven't done anything. I've also got to update my uh, monthly account. So I'll do that because I know I've had a payment from eBay yesterday. But that's it for now um yeah i'll see you soon i'll probably film a christmas coloring book collection video soon even though i know it's nowhere near christmas well it is it's only a couple of months away but i haven't got uh, any this year 
uh, yet. I say yet because I know I'm going to get some. Uh, but that's it. I'll see you in the morning. Bye, guys. Hey guys, Thursday morning and I haven't done anything really. Um, all I've done is sleep because I woke up still feeling really sick. Um, so I went back, I came back up with a cup of tea and read for a bit and then I uh, put on a YouTuber named Steve Donahue. He's a booktuber. He's brilliant. He reads absolutely everything. He is a professional reviewer. So he reads something like two or three books a day. I'm actually watching some current videos at the moment. Um, I am carrying on with swatching the R teasers and I'm going to finish them because at least that's something productive done today on my day off. But oh, I felt terrible. And I think it was just lack of sleep because I don't sleep very well and I slept very well. I didn't sleep very well at all last night and I think that was because I was feeling sick after the almost being sick last night um, and I was feeling dodgy as hell uh, so I got Jennifer off to nurse me without any issues made a cup of tea came back to bed and I slept for a couple hours and when I woke up I felt much better so yeah no temperature or anything don't feel I don't I still feel a bit, a bit off but not so much that it's a problem so I'm going to crack on with this because I'm going to get Jennifer in a minute and then I've got a few things to do and then I'll try and do a bit of eBay this afternoon if she goes to sleep or maybe I'll clean some records. I don't know yet, I haven't decided. I might clean some records. I'll see you in a bit. It's Friday afternoon. I finished swatching the pencils and so I've started coloured, colouring the picture which is great um, on camera. It's looking good and liking it. I'm currently uh, sorting out washing. Jennifer's washing, there's just so much of it all the time. There's another load in the tumble dryer and I'm filling up the, tum the, the machine again to do another load. I do have some big stuff to do. Um, we've put a little blanket in. I've got one of my dressing gowns to be done and my big fluffy blanket from downstairs does need a wash. So I'm going to put that on overnight tonight and then it can dry tomorrow. Um, but oh my God, kids, don't they go through so many clothes? <laughs> So I've got a pair of pyjamas ready for bed tonight. I'm just sorting out some of it has got stains on it, grass stains and stuff. I'm going to get some oxy, oxy um, stuff and soak it in boiling water and give it a, a bit of a wash in, in the, the sink before I put it through the machine. She's having a sleep, hopefully. She's watching the um, Japanese YouTuber she likes that does the dinosaurs. <coughs> it's like a toy review site, I think, because a lot of the times they're showing off toys. But it is Lego related or dinosaur related and so on, so... Yeah, so I just let her watch that when she wants. She goes, she goes, she wants, man, man. Well, I mean, the dinosaur man. Yeah, the dinosaur man. And it's like, but he speaks, everything's in Japanese. She can't understand a word of it. But it won't hurt her to hear other languages, I don't think. And it might help her pick them up when she's older, if she so wishes to. So I'm happy for her to watch things in different languages. It doesn't bother me in any way, shape or form. She's very clever. She'll probably start speaking Japanese before, you know, before I know. And I'll be like, what are you saying? So Chris can speak Japanese, so maybe he can teach her a bit when she's a bit older if he ever comes back or can ever get back. So we're about we're going to enter lockdown at six o'clock tonight. Um, so all the non-essential clothes, non-essential shops and businesses are shutting. Um, so that's clothes shops, pubs, bars, cafes, restaurants, unless they're doing takeaways. So takeaways are alright, so we've got our fish and chips ordered for tonight, they'll still be able to deliver because they do. It's just where you have to sit in that you can't, they're not, they're not doing it. So um, People are expected to work from home unless they can't. Um, you're not supposed to go out other than for exercise once a day, it's literally back to that, apart from schools. Schools are allowed to remain open, although it is half term next week, so the kids will have a week off doing bugger all and being stuck in the house great timing and and then the second week is the week after the half term holiday so the kids some of the kids go back there most of the children are going back it's there's just a couple of years that aren't um jennifer's nursery is staying open which is good for me because it's just so hard to work with her around especially now she's so into everything she wants to do everything she now can now climbs in and out of her car seat on her, her own she did that today for the first time so oh, she's changing so quickly but uh so we can go and see Paul's mum because she's on her own. That's the only exception to meeting in meeting another person is if they live on their own, you can form an extended household. My mum and dad have got each other and I ring I'll ring my mum twice a day anyway, once in the morning, around half nine, ten ish, depending. I mean not always because I'm at work, so sometimes I just text her. And then around six ish in the evening, around tea time. So yes, I'm gonna crack on with this washing. I've got a bad head, so I'm gonna try and put my head down for half an hour. Jennifer's asleep. Um, 
yeah so the vlog but really if I do one next week it's not going to be much different than what it is now because I don't go anywhere at the moment because of the situation obviously when we and Paul had our week off luckily we were able to go to anywhere we wanted to within Caerphilly so we went to Capacan Scenic Drive we went to some walks and it was nice we can still go for walks so we've still got the canal and we've still got the river as long as it's not raining heavily when I get paid next week, I'm going to order some new trainers because mine are falling apart. And so, yeah, because of that, I mean, I can order them online. Supermarkets that sell clothes as well, because they do, are not allowed to sell anything that's not classed as essential. So they're only really allowed to sell food. They're not allowed to sell things like colouring books and um, stuff that they would normally say toys and games and clothes, electricals. They're not allowed to sell anything that you could get in a shop that's been forced to close then they are not selling it and from what i gather it's the big retailers that have requested this i don't get it because but what gets me is anybody could just most people who do have the internet can just go and order it from amazon therefore it sort of defeats the object of doing it so but then if they've got online ordering you can order them there so i only need a pair of shoes i usually get them from shoe zone because they're cheap and they last me forever and they're comfortable and yeah i will order a pair or two sometimes i order two in, in twos because they're cheap enough but generally, and a new bra, that's exciting, I order one of them. But saying that musicals quiz tonight, Paul was sending me questions saying, what musical is this song from? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> what was this from? Oh, I know that one. I knew three out of the four he sent me. So, yeah. <laughs> the only one I didn't know was the, the modern star is born with Lady Gaga, because I haven't seen it. And I don't really know any of the songs from it. It's something I need to do. Um, one of the things I will be looking to do is increase my musicals knowledge, especially if I fail dismally at this one tonight. So, yeah, we will be doing that quiz online tonight, so I hope you'll join us for that. Well, you won't have a choice because uh, I'll be filming it, but whether or not you decide to stick around is another thing. Don't know if we're going to be uh, quizzing tomorrow. It depends. Paul uh, might be Zooming with one of his mates. So that's fine. I am going to problem. I just might actually sit and watch a film, which I've been meaning to do for ages. I'm going to bet crack on with putting this washing away so I can get my head down for an hour before tea. I'll see you at six o'clock-ish. It's about ten past six. A bit later than that, actually, no. Um, let me have a look at the time. Yeah. But we are now on lockdown. We're getting ready to uh, start the musicals quiz. You can hear Chicago in the background. So yeah, I've got my webcam on as well that you can see me. So, awesome, looking forward to this, it's gonna be fun. So we're at the end of round one, it's really hard. Some of these, I've, I've never even heard of some of these musicals. Some of them I've heard of and don't know and I need to bone up before Christmas when I'll be having another musicals quiz. I dread to think where I am in the thing because it was ages before we even got one right and then it was by default because I just guessed the right letter. I'm probably last, in which case I'll cry. End of round one scores on their way 38 out of 45 so there's still time to to pick up so and i will make sure before the next one i've done a lot of musicals research definitely going to i'm going to go to the bathroom and get another drink because i've already drunk a pint that's how desperate it is so we're about at half time that round was much better i actually knew some of the answers <laughs> Stop cackling in the corner. So we're just waiting for the results. Hopefully I've moved up from 38th, but it was an easier round anyway. Jennifer's having a score because she's in bed and she can hear us chattering. We have moved up two, or down two. One bit easier. A bit easier on that, yeah, yeah. There's a few happy faces compared to the first round. First round's a bit iffy, I reckon. Yeah, ooh, a couple of iffies, yeah, in there. Great on the scores. Those of you that have never I've been on a musical squish before. You'll, you'll be glad to know that we randomly select one of the teams in a few minutes and you have to sing the entire song of one of the musical... I'm joking. <laughs> 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 yeah, we well, There's a couple of people that said, yeah, we'll do it. Oh, Mr. Yeah. King. Um, but we're going to go over to the half-time scores. It's a little less, a bit more boring than that, but still. Uh, here comes your half-time score. Here's the score. Let's see how you're getting on with two rounds to go. We've gone up to 27th, so we've gone up 11 places for that, which is great. He's taken the lead. Woo! Uh, lot better. So the witches are in second. Let's have a look. Tongue Pops isn't in the top 20 either, 22, so... Mm? Oh yeah, she's got 20. Oh, bless her. 
freaking away. It was a lot easier though. Right now. Anyway, so, let's pull. He's in different seat tonight because this is for quizzes and sort of my sort of thing rather than for him. My battery's dying. I'm going to change the battery and we're back in a bit. Very hard round. Um, had to guess the, the musical from the song. Some of them were very easy, so like Miss Saigon and stuff like that, but some of them were really hard. Some of these musicals I've never even heard of, so I'm really going to have to bone up before the next one. So. Uh, yeah, we're going to do some anagrams apparently, you know? So that was the end of that round, there's another round to go now, but that was a hard round as well, it was anagrams. Some of them were even easy, and some of them were really, really, really hard. And next is evil mode, which is horrendous because they take points off of you. So, can we have some scores on the doors? Scores, where have we gone down to? Evil mode round. Oh, yes. Oh, we've gone up to 19. Very pleased. I'm actually on the screen now, so I'm in the top 20. Tongue Pops is at 13. Jennifer's screaming, as you can hear. I'm going to go now because he's going to start playing a song from Hamilton. Well, last round was pictures. Got a few, didn't get get all of them, but got a few of them, so it was all right. Don't forget, keep supporting us for quizzes. There's only four of us that do it. Uh, we changed the themes around every week, so you've got loads of... No, he has said they'll be doing another musical one before Christmas, so I'm going to watch as many musicals as I can. So if you really know any good places where I can get more obscure, weird musicals, let me know. Any good streaming sites, which I might have to subscribe to for the time being. Just to see some. Um, let me know where I can watch things like... I know I can see things like Hamilton and stuff on Disney+, Plus, but... Uh, what other channels are streaming um, classic musicals? Let me know down in the comments and I will um, have a look, see what I can find. Um, yes. Wait for the final scores. Mm. It was fun, I enjoyed it. I mean, it's great. It means I, need, I know I want to watch more musicals now. Wasn't too much Disney, just a bit of Mary Poppins in that, wasn't it? That was about it, really, with the Disney, wasn't it? Everything else was pretty much musicals. Um, so, yeah, you'll do three, two and one first, which obviously I'm never going to be in the top three. <laughs> I'm never lucky if I make it in the top ten. i will be lucky this week if I'm in the top twenty, but I'll be back when uh, he puts the scores on. So hopefully, we, we actually finished at 25, which isn't too bad. Could have been a lot better, but I'm going to really bone up on my musicals before the next one. There were a lot of musicals that they missed out, but hopefully... So, bit bugsy. Anyway, that's it for tonight. I'll see you tomorrow. It's Saturday. Um, we're in lockdown, so I don't know what we'll be doing much, but maybe checking out some musicals? You never know. Bugsy Malone. Been in that. Well, it's Saturday, and it's the first day of full lockdown again in uh, Wales. Well, what we call full lockdown. Um, obviously, it's half term, so there's no schools. Um, but nurseries are still open, which is good. Means Jennifer can still go to nursery because she loves it and she needs the company. So we've been to Paul's mum's because she's on her own. So as she's elderly and vulnerable and on her own, we're allowed to visit her and she's allowed to visit us. So because she's just moved into her house, we're going up to her because Paul's helping her with odd little jobs. Like her, she couldn't get her TV working. Uh, so Paul went and sorted that out. Um, sorting out some of the bits and pieces for her internet and helping her out every week just to, you know, makes her feel better. She's always a bit happier when we leave, uh, you know, when we've been and Paul's less worried about her when he's seen her because he does worry about her a lot because she can't hear him properly on the phone and uh, he always feels better when they've been face to face. It's absolutely horrendous out, it's raining, it's a horrible day. Um, we've been... Like I said, we've been out, and to be fair, the roads are pretty quiet. It was busy coming into Risco when we went out, but that might have just been um, essential workers finishing their shift and coming home, because when we came back, it was very quiet. So, judging by the time we went, I would say that it was probably shift workers finishing, or whatever it is they're doing. Um, but yeah, it's very, very quiet at the moment out there, uh, which is good, that's how it should be. Um, we did stop at McDonald's and get a takeout because obviously McDonald's is still open. They did close at the, in the original lockdown, but they're still open for drive through and takeaway, which is great. Just not dine in, which makes sense. So we treated ourselves and had a McDonald's, which was really nice. And Jennifer had nuggets and fries, and she does like their nuggets and fries, and she ate it all. 
So she'll have a sleep now because she was falling asleep in the car. She was asleep in the car on the way back and she was falling asleep on the way too. So and we're only going 10 minutes up the road. Uh, so that's that's it. Um, I might do some filming tonight. Um, Paul's going to see if his friend Phil wants to zoom. I'm, if, if he does, I'll carry on filming my our teaser video. But I've got a, a really bad headache. It always happens when the rain comes. It's air pressure and sinuses. It's killing me. So, Paul's with Jennifer. She'll have a lie down and a doze and what, or, or watch TV. I'll, uh, Paul will listen out for her because he knows I get these headaches bad. I will ring the doctors about them because they're just getting worse. Um, sinusitis is horrendous. So I'm going to have a little rest and just a little lie down for a bit and take a painkiller, just a paracetamol, just to take the edge off. That'll do it. Um, and then in the week, uh, if I get a chance, I might pop to the chemist and get some Sudafed medication for my sinuses because I think that's what I need. I don't think I've got any more downstairs. I've got a couple up here and that's what I'm going to take. I think I'll take one of them actually. So yeah, so um, might not be quizzing tonight because we're finding it gets to the point where you do so many that your brain overloads and that's how I'm feeling at the moment and I just would like a night of, you know, if Paul wants to talk to his friend that's great, I'll have a night, I'll watch a movie. Paul's not really into movies so I don't tend to watch them when he's around so I could watch a movie up here, I've got a ton of movies to watch. Um, I think I'm going to start making videos on the other channel soon. Oh, she's yelling. Bless. She's just... Alright, baby! I'm going to give her a kiss and then I'll have a lie down. Anyway, I'll talk to you in a bit. I better go and see what she wants. Jennifer's okay. Um, she just wanted to tell me she'd finished her McFlurry. Then uh, she wanted to watch The Man, so I've put her down for a nap. It's raining. Um, but put the Japanese YouTube channel on that she likes. Um, it's called JJ Tube. She just loves it. And it just goes to show that you don't need words to understand what's going on. Because you can work it out. They're very, very good. Very, it's a very good channel. And you can work out exactly what um, the story is, because they always tell a story, or what they think of things by the way they do it. And it's absolutely brilliant. So she loves it. She wants the man. She calls him the man. So I've put literally put it on his channel, put it on upload and press play. So it'll just continually play his videos for the time being. So, and they're all kids related. It's all toys and dinosaurs and sharks and... She seems to really enjoy it, so it'll keep her happy, and she'll probably just doze off halfway through the first two, first one or two, so. As you see, I've got the light off. I'm going to take my painkiller, and I'm going to have a lie down in a dark room, and see if I can get rid of this headache, and if so, I will see you, well, hopefully I'll see you later, well, I will see you later, because, um, you know, I'll either be watching a film, or I'll be videoing, um, Something I haven't had any sales on eBay for ages. It's my own fault because I haven't been listing it. So I'm gonna go get back to doing it. It's just this week the headaches have been quite bad because the change changing of the air pressure. It's every time the air pressure changes, and when it rains, they are particularly nasty. And it is raining. Once it's, if it settles down into a sustained period of rainy, wet weather, then they do go away until it changes again. And then I get a very mild one when it goes back to cold, nice weather. I prefer the cold, nice weather. I like it crisp, cold, frosty mornings. I can't wait for those to come. Although I will have to buy some ice, though I'm pretty sure that's probably classed as a non-essential. Um, I don't need to buy anything. So, other than food, I don't need anything. And nappies, which are essential, so I'm pretty sure I'll be able to buy them. But, uh... Although a lot of the supermarkets have now... Are now saying you can buy s items that you consider essential so what they're, they're trying to do is say if you really need something you can have it but if you don't need it don't buy it which is what we should be doing anyway we don't need to buy I mean I'm terrible for buying coloring books and pencils I'm not gonna lie I love them but you know you don't buy a new duvet unless you need one you don't buy a new pillow unless you need one you don't buy a new coat or shoes unless you need one and that's what they're trying to encourage they don't want people hanging around in the shops basically and also it is to protect the smaller stores although I haven't been anywhere I, I mean to be honest I've gone in spa I've gone in Londis I've gone in one stop and Lidl's and Aldi and I am um, get vegetables from the park shop which is a small business but then I know the owner's daughter she's a friend of mine and my mum's always got stuff from from Bryn so we always get stuff from there always in fact I got to drop some stuff off at her she wants some markers so I said to drop some off to 
do something. My lip looks really red. I think it's just the light. I hope it's just the light. Anyway, I'm going to get my head down for an hour now and see if I can get rid of this headache. I will see you later. And I've waffled enough. Okay, guys, it's Saturday evening. Um, I got rid of my headache. It went lovely. I had a lovely little sleep. Um, we had a nice curry from the Tamarind in Risca, which was really nice. I just woke up thinking I could murder a curry. Um, so I thought, I'll order one. And uh, Jennifer likes curry, so that's easy. Excuse me, just shaking the camera. I'm just trying to... So, uh, um, so Paul is now going to have a Zoom meet, uh, Zoom chat with his mate, um, <coughs> Phil, and he's going to uh, have a beer. I've got a beer here. It's uh, not Guinness. It's a Strongbow Dark Fruits in a Guinness glass. I've got a little bit of chocolate, a few uh, leftover Milky Bar mix-ups from the other day some fruit pastels and I'm gonna put the TV on I was gonna watch a film but I'm really not in the mood to sit and watch a whole film I don't really get the urge to watch movies very often I am halfway through my favorite wife so I want to try and finish that tomorrow um, then I'll probably watch something else <sighs> so I'm gonna put on some YouTube and watch I don't know I'll find something uh, but I've got all my whips out so uh, some I'm gonna try and finish this month and some are for finishing later apart from there's a couple uh, on the thing so I'll just show you all the whips including the ones that aren't horror ones and uh, you'll try and finish them this month and next month I would love to go into 2021 without a single whip unless it's something from that I've started in December that would be my plan whether or not it'll happen because some of these whips have been hanging around for a very long time but I will be back okay, so here's a pile of uh, whips well two piles actually these ones are the ones that I've started this month these are ones that have been on the go but a long time so obviously as it's October I'm going to try and finish the Halloween first so I've got the beauty of horror book and I'm doing this double page spread as you can see I've only done the background um I like the background I'm not 100% happy with it but it's not too bad I quite like the sort of rough look makes it kind of scary uh, so I've just got the main picture and I don't think that will take too long so I've got that one I've got this one which I'm not going to show you, I've got one in here, but this is the one I'm using for the Arteza Expert Pencils. Um, so obviously that one I will try and uh, finish in the next day or so. We've got the one we're doing on camera, so that'll be finished, I shall probably film that tomorrow night. And that won't take long because I've done the background, I love the background, I think it looks really good. So I've only really got, well, her... Jewelry, the skulls, and all that, that, just a few little bits. It's probably going to be a 20 minute video if that, but that's cool. I've got one I started in 50 Easy Patterns. I literally have only done two bits. I started that with the pens I got from Aldi's, and I'm going to give uh, one of each colour to my mum because there's four of this, each colour in the pack, so I'm not going to, they'll last me forever. So I'm going to give one of each colour to my mum to use. I've got obviously The Art of Colouring Birds. This is one I started last week because it's just something to do when uh, I'm quizzing it looks like there's a lot to go on there but uh, I don't think it'll take too long and then I've got relax uh, with art uh, that this is what I'm going to be working on tonight um, I'm doing this one and it has I've nearly finished it there's not a lot to, to go really it's just a hair and a bit the few little bits of background that are left and I'll, I'll do that tonight try and finish that one tonight I've got the beauty of horror for creature feature i've only just started this one so i'm not worried if this one goes off into november because november is an anything goes month and like i said i wanted to do this huge double page and as you can see i've only just started doing the seeds i started it last night um but i will do it it's just um at the moment i'm not too worried if this one goes off into the next month i really like this one so i want to do it really really well i'll look up the characters and try and get the best representations of them that I can some of them I know very well and some of them I'm not 100% sure of I'm not 100% sure of who this is um I know Chucky that's the creature from Black Lagoon that's the wolf man I'm not sure who the nun is I'm not sure who he is unless he's meant to be like a version of Jack the Ripper because that's what he looks like that's the thing I'm not sure who that is either so, I mean, obviously I know 
him. Chucky, Wolfman, we've got Creature from the Black Lagoon, and we've got Hannibal Lecter, Jason, Dracula, The Thing from Scream, Frankenstein's Monster, and obviously my favourite, Freddy Krueger. So. so there's that one. That's all the Halloween related ones, or ones I started this month. I've got uh, the Christmas, cute Christmas one still on the go, I'm, but obviously I'm not going to worry about this one because I'll be starting Christmas next month, I expect, so I'll probably finish this one next month. And it's this one, and again, I'm really not sure what this stuff is at the back that they're in, because it looks like he's inside, but he could be outside. So is it snow? Is it grass? Is it tinsel? It's, it's, I don't know what it is, so I haven't done it yet. I suppose it could be anything you wouldn't want, so um, i probably do it. I don't know. So there's that one. I can hear Jennifer. I've just put her to bed, so she's probably wondering where I'm chatting. I've got one on the go in Busy World, which is this one. I started this ages ago and haven't finished it. But it's just something I'll, I'll pick up every now and again when I feel like doing something in here i do like the book it's just it's so busy talking of busy i haven't finished my imaginalphia um it's nearly done so i'm definitely going to finish that this year um it is nearly done there's not that much left i've just got a few little bits left to do on it so and i don't know why i haven't finished it i should just crack on and do it shouldn't i really I'll have to have a look at that one, try and finish that one. Again, Enchanted Forest. This is literally just the title page. And I haven't finished it. And all I've got are these little bits to do and the word in which I'm going to do in glitter pen. So that is going to take hardly any time at all. So I've got to finish that this year, surely. Got to. Fairyland colouring book. I sort of... If I can find it one of the first books I've got in fact it was the first book I've got I've got them from Carlton Publishing when I was book two bin and now I can't find the page because it's stuck hang on a second I'm gonna have to work uh, so I started this one I can't even remember what I started this with it was probably the Marco Rafines which my mum's got now but I am pretty sure I can do something with it it's not gonna be too difficult and then I've got my Dracula book I haven't done anything in this this should be my horror stuff really and it's literally just because it's the difficult stuff, like the, the carriage and the, the the background and the wolves. It won't take long if I get on with it. We're doing colour soft with those. I haven't used those in ages, so I will have to get them out and, and finish it. It's just this page, and then when I finish this page, I'm not, I, I mean, I prefer the ones that are just big like this. I don't like these little panels. Um, because you've got to make sure that the, the colouring matches each section. So I suppose you don't, but so I, I do want to finish that. And then I got one or two in butterflies, two in butterflies. I did start doing this one, but again, I don't remember what pen, pencils I used. So I shall just uh, find a similar colour and carry on. And then I got, let me just find it. Here it is. This one which I was doing with felt tips by the look of it. That looks like pen. And it's kind of grayscale. And I haven't done it. I haven't carried on with it. So I, I, I know I can finish that one off. That won't take too long. I'll just use one of my brush pens for that. And then I've got one in this Fairy Garden Spring colouring book by Diane Black. I'm not keen on the paper. The paper's really thin. It's not as bad as it could be. Um, I know I've started one in here, but I can't remember which one it was. It's a pattern one. It's all like mandalas and patterns. Here it is. And I sort of started this one. So, this was a bright orange um, gel pen. So that's fine. I can find that. That's not a problem. I've got plenty of similar to that to do those in. And it won't really take that long. I've got some glitter gel on there. So I need to finish it. I want to try and finish them all by the end of the year. I would love to go into 2021 without a single whip, unless it's a Christmas related one, because of course we've got a lot of that, you know, there's going to be a lot of Christmas going on. So, I mean, next month I'll start buying Christmas books, a couple. I'm not going to buy too many because I've got so many books already and I've got a ton of Christmas books. Some I haven't coloured in. I think there's only about three or four I haven't coloured in, not as many as with Halloween. But I want, there are a few I want. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try and 
like I said, I'm going to colour what I want next month, so it may be something I haven't coloured in before, it may be something I have, but I'm determined to finish all the whips, and that's going to be my priority over the next two couple of months, other than the Christmas stuff. So that's about it for tonight, I showed you what I want to do, I'm going to try and finish my Relax With Art pictures tonight, because then that at least will be another one off the list. Uh, the rest of them are just going to go back, and and I might keep the pattern book out, because that's quite easy to do, um, the 50 Easy Patterns by Jade Summer. Yeah, because I think I might do that. I'm just thinking. Um, I mean, I haven't coloured in this month's colour in heaven, the Zodiac kit special yet. I haven't coloured in that. I will definitely colour in that next month, though. And the next one's out Wednesday. The new one's out Wednesday. The Christmas issue's out Wednesday. And I've still got a pile of colour in heaven magazines to colour in. And a pile of loose pages to do. So I really have to stop buying books, but I really like them and I see books I want and I, I just buy them. And that's why next month I'm just going to colour what I want because sometimes I feel like, you know, there's many Jade Summer books, I really love them and they've got one picture done in them because I'm trying to colour everything in everything. And I'm like, well, no, I want to colour in Chibi Girls or I want to colour in Fairies, Grayscale, or I want to colour in this book or that book. I mean, with vampires, you can colour them any any time of the year, I know that. And the same with Day of the Dead, really, and Sugar Skulls. So, yeah, so, um, yeah, it's good. I am going to go and put the YouTube on now and watch some YouTube because I don't have to concentrate so much on that. And uh, get on with colouring in my Relax With Art and then possibly my Jade Summer book. Um, I'll decide then. Uh, but yeah, I mean, again, this month's a mis mis a mix of patterns and pictures. But I've enjoyed every single thing I've done, so and that's all that matters. So. Sunday tomorrow, last day of the week. Gotta go shopping tomorrow. The joys of food shopping. Hmm. I hope Jennifer sleeps longer. She was up at, well, no, she wasn't up late. The clocks go back tonight, so I'm expecting her to be up around half past seven, which is, would have been half past eight, which is what time she got up this morning. So if she can make it to half past eight, which would be half past nine, I will be happy. Um, but we'll see, we'll see how she does anyway. So anyway, yeah, we had a nice, we had a nice enough day. Swim, swim pools, mum, and, uh, and a McDonald's and a curry. I said he's going to talk to his mate. So I'm going to have my drink and my sweets, watch some YouTube and do some coloring. I'll see you in the morning. Bye guys. Hey everyone, it's Sunday and the clocks have gone back. So Jen had me up at half seven, which technically would have been half eight yesterday, same time as yesterday, basically. Um, we're about to go shopping. I've got my mask ready and uh, I'm out of breath. I had to come up to get my glasses because I left them up here because I was uh, watching YouTube. I managed to finish one whip last night and I did the background on another one. So I've got uh, two books two horror books on the go. The two, I've got a pattern book and a bird book still and then I've got the two that I'm using for camera which is fine so really I'm up with all my, I'm all right with all my whips. Oh, I'm a bit out of breath. So yeah I'm going to try and finish one of my other whips and do a bit on the Dracula as well. Um, but yeah I'm going to go shopping I'll see you afterwards. So we've done the shopping, hang on. and um, Jennifer, is that you? Hi. 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 Is looking at dinosaurs, aren't you? And watching Japanese YouTube videos, because she likes them for some reason. Paul's having a sleep. When he comes back down, I'll have a little rest. Um, I've been colouring, as usual. But obviously, I don't get much done with this little thing. I'm going to say hello. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> you clever girl. Lad, oh, you need changing, don't you? Yeah, should we change you? We're going to change Jen, so I'm going to turn the camera off because you don't want to see that. You want to see that, don't you? Beautiful girl. Yes, my girl. I'll be back in a bit. Oh, okay, guys, I'm going to call it a week. Paul's here. We just put Jennifer to bed. We had a fun afternoon, Jennifer and me. We both got into the ball pit and threw balls at each other for about half an hour. It was quite good fun playing like that. Um, yeah, 
Again, another boring vlog because not a lot happened. It's not going to happen a lot. So I'm just going to chill for an hour and watch some YouTube, watching Ghosts of London at the moment. Have a beer and then I'm going to have a shower and probably head off to bed because of course it's a work day tomorrow. Sadly, it's back to normal. But hey, it could be worse. At least I've got a job and a roof over my head and I'm not ill. So thanks everybody for joining me. Thank you for those of you who wish me uh, congratulations on reaching a thousand subscribers. I can now leave a little updates on YouTube for you which is great if there's going to be a delay due to who knows what uh, but yeah very happy so I will see you in the next weekly vlog bye guys